Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is the 112 Collective Batman uh, Gotham by Gaslight figure based off of the rather classic story. This has been a hotly anticipated figure. I've been waiting for quite a while for it to finally arrive, and it has. So let's dive in right away. Of course, we have amazing art on the box cover. I'm showing that off. Um, and let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, no, this, this looks complicated. Oh yeah, no, this looks really complicated. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Back. All right, so in here we got grappling, we've got some batterings, we got some knives, we got a different hood, a whole bunch of little items in there. They look pretty cool. Really, it's about the figure, and it's like wings. I got them by Gaslight wings. So let's. First, do our normal dive into the figure itself. Let's get rid of that. Yeah. Alright. He was standing on the cape. Alright, standing, no problem at all. There's a little bit of it on the cape. Hello. There we go. Now let's go over the articulation, feet side to side, back and forth pretty good, lower leg, side to side, bends here. Interesting, there is some plastic underneath here that we're going to have to pull off at some point. Just feels rather odd, I don't know why that's there. I'd love to know why that stuff, stuff like that's there. If anyone knows why that's there, I, I would actually love to hear why. Not guesses, like if anyone really knows. Uh, hip movement like we'd expect side to side back and forth there head all around the arm should be interesting up not an issue to the side not an issue elbows good wrist good no no issues when it comes to the cape um design it looks fantastic it's kind of got this like grayish bluish design the cape is awesome there's a little wire in there for you to be able to like really hook it up quite well um, just every like small little details is great. You get the chain, you've got uh, things that hold the chain, I don't know what they're called. Um, the body armor itself looks just like really kind of of the time. Like as far as the character, it's just a great adaptation of it. Um, I mean, it really, it really, I think, captures the feel of it. As far as extras, we showed the one tray which has like all the batterings and all that. It, really, that's not what we're here for. Uh, we got some heads. One head, and then I'm guessing this one is the one you can use the mask that comes off. Got Bruce Wayne with little mutton chops. Pretty, pretty decent, I think. Uh, hands, there is uh, eight other hands. Really, this is what we're what we're here for is like the big wing contraption thing so the question is how does this actually go on the character I think that would be my biggest question is how does this actually get on cuz this looks to be solid on like I don't think it just kind of, you know, obviously I take the, the cape off. That's that's the first things first. So like first you gotta take the cape off. That's legit. But the question would be is how this comes on. I'm actually not entirely sure. So that kind of stinks. So only one instruction, and the instruction is like, well, while wearing his harness, remove the handles from each wing. So let's actually just put together this and just show this off. Fortunately, it doesn't look like I'm smart enough to be able to get this on the figure. So there is some holes in the back. And you put the harness on, 
And the harness spreads out pretty good. And then you get like the holders too. Like the individual parts on this is really, really cool. How the hell? So you actually have to, so the funny is you have to pop these off to put the hands on and then put it back on. But I don't know how you get the harness actually on Batman. Alright, someone's got another video that wants to do this, like, please link it here because I feel like an idiot. Oh, I think this is it. There we go. There we go. So it pops off here. It's not very apparent. Instructions would be an awesome thing. I also don't like these connectors because they're really hard to get back usually. But to give a good idea of this. That's a pretty cool looking Batman, if you ask me. Um, overall, individual parts I think are absolutely fantastic. Obviously, getting the hardest on is a little fiddly. I'm not a fan of like this, the little connectors that they've got, the just joints or whatever you want to call them, pegs. Um, I don't think they're all that great in actually holding in. Um, the extras, I mean, are, are good. The batteries look nice. The knives look nice. The, the extra hands and heads and all that looks really solid. But really, it's all about this harness. Let's let's be honest. Um, and this looks really really solid. So. Um, intriguing. It's a really, really fascinating. Like, the detail on it is really, really cool. Um, so yeah. And as far as can it reach, I think this is the bigger question. Is yes. So I, even if I do it like this, the hand can reach back pretty well. Let's do it for the other one. So while not connected, it does it does reach pretty well. So you can obviously get it way better than that. So um, you can get you might be able to get yours. Uh, this is going to be I think a hard one to get. It was an exclusive, sold out a long long time ago. It's definitely going to be a second market thing. Um, so really good luck on trying to get yours. Uh, but overall, this is nice. I think the little clockwork back is is impressive. It's really really impressive. Uh, so yeah, intriguing intriguing figure. As always, if you want more Mezco news, you can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mustang, Threads, Blue Sky, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics, keep playing with your toys, and be the Batman. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.